Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Relapse Tackle. In this video, we're going to be painting up a 3 8 ounce shad head. We're going to paint that with some stardust. So it'll be the glow orange stardust. So stay, stay tuned. We'll go through the process, showing how I paint them. And um, give the video a like if you like what you see. Thank you all. Alright, we'll start out by grabbing our forceps, grabbing a hold of the hook. That way we can keep our hands at a safe distance. We're going to use propane. Feels like I have enough in there. I'm running a little low now. Um, so we're going to want to take some pearl white. And the reasoning for the pearl white, instead of just the standard white, this actually goes on just a little bit thinner. And doing multi-coats, it just... It's a little thinner and looks nicer. So I'm going to fluff it up a little bit because we don't use a fluid bed with this. You can, but I don't. So we're going to get this jig hot. Dip it into our freshly fluffed stardust. And you'll notice Quite a bit of paint in the hook eye and on the shank and stuff there. We'll want to put our lid on as we go. You don't want to sprinkle other stuff inside there and ruin it or have to pick a bunch of stuff out of there. So you can take the paint and just slide it back to the hook if you're worried about cleaning it up. And then a little bit, carefully remove with your fingers. And then you can do that. And pull paint off as you go. Um, or you can poke. If it's a big enough hook eye. Like this one. You can leave that paint there. And then just poke through. Alright. So we'll heat it up again. Kind of a little little bit of texture to it. And you don't have to get the whole thing completely coated. If there's little specks of lead and stuff showing through, it's fine. So we're going to fluff up this glow orange as well. Take the cap off. And then we'll heat this up again a little bit. Trying to make sure everything stays in the camera. And all the one video was sprinkling stuff in and I didn't realize that I was not in the camera the whole time. It's kind of annoying to me anyway. So it starts to get a little smoothed out, a little shiny. We can just dip it now. You can double dip it. Alright. That's what it'll look like then. Pretty coated heavy. It's fine. You know, notice I have my eyes sitting here. These are um, four and a half millimeter eyes. This is the only process that can be kind of a pain is cleaning these hook eyes out. Um, usually I would use shrink tubing, but the the shape of this jig, it doesn't really work that well. You can't get enough of the shrink tubing on it. But just slide the paint around when it's still warm. Be careful not to poke yourself or burn yourself. Alright, now I'll heat it again a little bit. Don't want to get it too close to the flame because you can scorch it. So we'll heat it up a little bit, and then I'm gonna take put it in my clear, just a real thin coat of the clear. And we'll heat it up again. Oop, I'm gonna actually I got quite a bit on the hook shank here, and this stuff the clear is super sticky. So before I get it too hot, I want to get that. 
cleaned off of there. There is no curing to this paint. Um, don't have to put it in the oven or anything like that. See, I got it just a little warm. Mm, that's fine. A little bit on there is not going to hurt anything. I'm just picky. Way pickier than I need to be. Just keep it moving. Keep it at a safe distance. Make sure your hand's not in the flame. Did it get a little bit more than I wanted in the hook eye? And like I said, this one, it's not open far enough to leave it on this style of jig. So you can always poke it out with a hot wire too after it's done. That's what I'll do. So I'm going to get it hot. And then now we're going to take our eyes. Carefully remove them from my hand. And we're going to press them into the paint. And this will help hold those steady. Because the paint will roll over the edge of the eye. And it just locks them in place. So once this jig cools down though, it is ready to fish. So once again, pressing the eye in, kind of moving it around, making sure that that paint goes all around. And these eyes I actually got off of Amazon. They are surprisingly Good quality. All right. Now, oh, I was going to poke the hook eye out. Sorry about all the extra noise. But I had several people wanting to see how to paint with the um, glow orange. So I wanted to make sure that I Got that done for you all. Now I'm going to grab my black light that's up here. I'm going to turn that on because that'll charge this jig up a little bit faster. The bracket is not wanting to turn. All right, so we're going to charge this up. Shut off all the lights. So it is a UV. UV glow. And it's not really picking it up too well in the camera, but it is glowing orange. It's not glowing green like a lot of colors would glow. So I guess you can see it in the camera. There you have it. You charge it up a little bit longer. The longer you charge it, the longer it'll glow. But like I said, let me grab a piece of paper. That'll show it a lot better. Just grabbing one of these for the lure eyes. And I'll show you it glowing with that behind it. So that'll really show you. As you can see the paper now. That orange. Alright. I just got to figure out where my lights are in this room. And I would run my exhaust fan too. I was painting up a lot of them. But since I'm just doing this one on camera real quick. Um, 
I'm going to keep the fan off. Thank you all for watching.